guys, welcome back, Magic Farm 2 with me, Sid, and I've been busy around the place, I've done quite a lot of off-camera work, um, so I've sorted all my chests into miscellaneous and metals and blocks and fuel, and this is the stuff that I'm planning to do today, I've got my trash can down, gone down, started my strip mine again, um, because it's super safe way to mine. Got myself some reeds going out here and I've laid out a half slab section out over to the section of ocean that I want to start building my underwater um, housing, uh, which will probably end up getting something called cliche like, um, I don't know, Atlantis, that sounds like a good name. Never, No one would ever think of that. I've also expanded my Tinker's Construct um, smeltery so we've got a lot more space in there, which was necessary to put these three drains in to make all the clear glass I need. I still haven't got anywhere near enough. Uh, is it oh, it's in here? But three, nearly four stacks, nearly three stacks, I should say. Um, over there, you've got the node. I've also noticed there's a node just over the water there. I've not way up waypointed that and it is getting dark and there is over that way 300 meters an open pool of lava which is handy there's several there's also some taint over there which is not so good so I expanded my farm I'll just run quickly over here and uh, yeah so we've got plenty of crops ready to harvest here so I'm just going to go in speak quickly, uh, and then we'll crack on with what I want to get done today. Do do do. So while I'm sleeping, if I can get in through this door, um, just to address a few comments, um, it mentioned that it seemed a little bit unfair using the village that I spawned near, and um, yes, I'd agree if I'd have actually gone and purposefully sought out a village and, you know, started it there just to make life easier, but that was a genuine spawn, the seeds in the comments, and if you spawn <coughs> sorry, that um, seed, you will end up within, you know, a stone throw of that village. And uh, to be honest, I think anybody in the same shoes would have utilised that. That said, I have played Magic Farm before. Um, the hunger mechanic is a pain, but that's really all it is. If you alter your priorities with um, this game uh, and play according to the rule set you're in, then it shouldn't be a problem. Most of the people I've seen who've really struggled with the hunger mechanic have struggled because they've tried to play this mod pack like vanilla Minecraft. And you can't do that. You can't go punch a tree and run around and fight the mobs at night and all of that stuff. You have to alter your priorities. Okay, so the other thing that was mentioned, if I get myself in, I need to get the recipe for that because I can't remember, uh, is that carrots are more effective if we use a juicer, which is a stone and a pressure plate. Well, that's one way to make a juicer, I suppose. Have I got any stone stone? I haven't. Well, we'll fix that. Pressure plate, that's two, isn't it? So that should be fine. Um, let's not waste the coal, though. Might as well cook a full, full eight. So while that's cooking, the other thing I want to do is I've been researching the best way to work underwater um, and that is going to be using a sponge. Believe it or not, if you've watched my Minecraft series you'll know that I'm quite into sponges. Now what was the recipe for that? Oh, it was a bucket of water as well, wasn't it? That was right. So, with treated leather... <coughs> uh, did that consume the bucket? I didn't see. I think I only made two. Let me go and just get rid of these bits and pieces. Oh, I've made scribing tools as well. Those are pretty straightforward. It's glass vial, feather and ink. 
glass file is just glass and clay um, because one thing I realized with the Thorncraft is if I'm using the thermometer and I've got paper and scribing tools in my inventory I can get these research notes I was missing uh, an opportunity there so let's just uh, in fact, let's take you out and stick you in and see if we can't get no I didn't get a cook off that no oh, well we'll live okay so we need a pressure plate and a stone slab to make a juicer um, I'd still love <coughs> Pam's uh, mod and the harvest craft and stuff it is just brilliant to work with so one, two, three, four. So that is an unfulfilling snack, and that is, I think that's a morsel equivalent of. I might as well just do the clock. Going to be more useful like that. Now the other question that we have, and I'll not get an answer for that until oh, there we go. We've got the slime ball. So then we need uh, da, da, blocks, blocks. I need some wool. And this is from, I think it's the open blocks. So I'll, I'll uh, let's just check that. Sponge. So obviously this is the sponge we all know, mechanized sponge. Uh, yes, open blocks, and that is wool and a slime ball makes a sponge, and this sponge works. So we'll just dump that slime ball off. Now the other thing I want to do today is some research on Thorncraft, so we will come back to that, but I want to uh, start off by investigating our uh, build site. You can just see that node, it's just, just visible there. So that was the aura node I found, and uh, I charged my wand a little bit more off it. Now, all things being equal, am I going to regret this? <laughs> Plunk. Whoa. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Oh, God. Place it. And there we are. We are safe and sound on the seabed with a air bubble to work in which is magnificent I don't think I can climb those oh I can let's get back to the surface and I've just realized I made it I don't think I'm, I'm oh just just made it okay uh, I'm gonna let my hunger build up a bit before I do that so that will allow me to start building my underwater environment the plans for this is we'll have quite a lot of the stuff underwater um, and then we'll have kind of some, I'm going to build some kind of petally stamen like structures coming out from a central pillar which are then going to spread out to a flat area which is going to where, uh, be where I run my farms I think um, still a work in progress right there's a full haunch of hunger that is better than a carrot so thank you very much um, our strati for that comment and a pointer um, you'll also notice um, in again in response to a comment he made is the mob radar is off on my minimap and I've also turned off the underground radar as well because I realized that was on and a little bit cheaty um, <clears throat> I'll be honest it's not something I really paid a great deal of attention to but there you go it's uh, ask and we will do Right, I need a bit of space just to work in here. Oh, these torches are the tink uh, Tinker's Construct ones. You'll also notice I've swapped out my uh, shovel head for uh, uh, Alimite. Doo -doo. Now, I'll be honest, I've not tried the new Thorncraft. Ooh. So it's expert level. Um, cool. The auto repair function is brilliant. Um, I couldn't have got a better 
enchant on that. So, <coughs> research table. Uh, right, let me just dump this out of the way. Grab my... I uh, want that. Probably, definitely want that. And want that. So, I believe... To do basic information, artifice, artifice, artifice. So the table is just slabs and those, and that is two of those hit with the scribing tool. Oh, and that is one of those hit with the wand. Well, we can manage that. That's pretty straightforward stuff. My kind of stuff. The straightforward kind. Ooh, we'll just grab some of that. Uh, and some of that. Do -do. Get the right crafting table. Thunk. Six. So I'm going to need a little bit more than that. So. Oh, and I've forgotten the recipe already. <laughs> it was two like that. Okay, so one, two, three of those. One, two, three. One, two, three. And bang, that's three of those in the bag. So we'll stick candles there as well, uh, torches, not candles. I have one there, and we'll grab me one, which is quite nicely charged, and bang, it's in there. And that's our arcane work table. And then we'll bonk bonk, uh, grab one of those. And bonk, there's our research table. So that's got the scribing tools in. We've got quite a lot of research points in certain things. Uh, we've got that, and I'm going to need some paper, which is why I built the reed farm. So we'll whack that in there. Uh, so what do we do? Uh, we can start with air, or shall we start with thormium? Thormium's as good a place as any. So that is well it's gonna have metallum in it. So we know that. Um I would have thought it would have had Magicka, but of course I don't know about Magicka, so what else could it be? Perdicio it's not Potentia. Uh, I doubt it's fire. Stone. Anything? I don't think so. Do do do. Uh, try that. No. Air, no. Water, no. Fire, no. Potentia, no. No. We're running out of things to try. Water, no. So these are all coming up. I can't imagine it's going to be one of those. I can't imagine it being void. Vitreous crystal glass canoe. Uh, we're going to have to come back to that one. Let's try something else then. We'll start with Ignis. We've definitely got Ignis, and that is Nitor. Uh, and I know that is Flux. So, we then need to connect it that and that one. Research notes. Hmm, no, I'm out of looks now. That's great. Right, how does this work? I know I'm supposed to connect this and the other node up. But 
don't know. That's research note, it's not a theory. Hmm. Active runes can't be moved. Ah! That's how you do it. I hadn't got the... Uh, so we've got those two nodes and those connected up. Gives us night ore. Cool. And we get the night ore and bang. That should give us night ore, which basically I can't do much with because we do need glowstone dust for, work for that, but... <coughs> pardon me. I'm now with a bit of a cold, I think. Anyway, so this is the new research. Now, how... Oop. I managed to research into the night. Let's snooze the night away. What's happening with that sign? Glitching. Right. So we've still got a spidey running around out there. So that's the research side of things. So we are going to need to do that. And again, I'm not going to do this on camera. This would be... I'll just stick you in there for now. That is metallum. But I've got no idea what the other runes we need are. Can't imagine it's that. No. <laughs> it can't be that. There must be something I've not discovered yet. Anyway, that's the Thorn. Thorncraft stuff. We've got a theory on the table, which looks quite nice. So we'll, we'll dump our stuff off for the time being. And I'm going to grab some of this glass. Now, th what I thought I would do... Are you, are you directly above me? Run! No, he's... He's, he's playing up on my uh, forge. No, oh, well, leave him to it. Leave him to it. Not seeing any other bad guys running around out there, so... Some more carrot juice. Not my favourite <laughs> in real life. I don't know many people whose favourite it actually is in real life. I'll tell you what I didn't bring with me. But I do have wood, which is good. I can take a crafting station with me. Let's go down and just start off with a small underground room, uh, underwater room, and then we'll work on from there. Come on, chunks. Load. Do do do. Whee! Splosh. Whoa. Uh, it's trying to update and the sponge is... Removing it. What was that then? Kelp. What can I use that for? Nothing, by the looks of it. <laughs> right, this is going to be a bit glitchy, I think, until I get some of these walls in, so... Let's come over here. And we'll start trying to... Uh, much as I like kelp, working underwater can be a real pain, but on the flip side, at least you uh, have a, an air pocket nearby. And that glass is just going to look brilliant. So I'm going to take this all the way across at the top here. Uh, bump, bump, bump. <laughs> While I've got this sponge, I'm perfectly safe. Uh, okay. No 
what I do want to do is also come just outside by one. Oh, God, what have I done? Now, here's the nice thing when you cock up with this, you pick the glass up again. All right, I'm going to continue and get this this basic shelter done. Um, and we will take it from there, I think. And, uh, yep, yeah, be back in a moment. Okay, we've got a basic cube underwater. How exciting. <laughs> um, however, my next step is going to be... Oh, need some sticks first. Four will be enough. Thunk. Thunk. Two lots of signs. The cheapest airlock in the game. Bonk. Oops. I only needed one set of signs actually, but that will do. With an airlock. We can pick up our sponge. And here we are. The first little room of Atlantis is finished. Now Ultimately, this is going to be a dome. Uh, we're going to get a central column running up through the middle. I did need to see if I can put... Um, what's the word I was looking for? Ladders on this clear glass. I know I can't on normal glass. Hey! Come on. <laughs> ah! You swine. Come on. Wonderful. Used a hell of a lot of glass just to do that, so I'm going to be smelting like an idiot, I think, using my new expanded forge. Um, so I'm just going to go back and empty some of this. I wish I could use this kelp for something. I'll have to have a look, see if there is any use for it. But in the meantime, let's head back to bed. Um, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, well the answer to the question, can you place um, ladders on the Tinker's Contract glass is no. However, there are a couple of possible answers to look at. Um, open Blocks has, I believe it's Open Blocks anyway, has the rope ladder, which is... For some reason, that helmet shows up as sticks and string makes a rope ladder. Um, so that may work okay. I'm just looking. I want a squid that's not too deep. Coral forest. Uh, about the only use I've found for coral is dyes. Here, squiddy. Squid, squid, squid. Come on. Stop playing with Spongebob. Come play with me. That sounds wrong. I <laughs> uh, can't see any readily. There's going to be hundreds of the damn things down there. Uh, we'll just go and check on the farm. About the other thing, which apparently I just checked on the thing. So you can eat kelp for half a haunch, which is not bad as an emergency food so there's a tip for you guys if you're playing this and you don't have a handy village kelp kelp will keep you going <laughs> probably tastes a bit salty but you know there you go you can't have it always right what's my inventory looking like not too bad what was that leek lovely uh, grab them carrots Du, 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 du. So this is what I was saying when I'm talking about the hunger mechanic of this not being the end of the world. Um, in a normal vanilla game of Minecraft, you're going to go off and you're going to punch a tree. 
Um, you're going to immediately go and make a wooden pick and mine some stone and make a stone tools and with those you're going to go off hunting out coal and iron um, and you don't really you might kill the odd pig but you don't really get to a point where hunger is a major major headache or shouldn't do if you're playing you know reasonably sensibly and not sprinting around and trying to kill zombies in your leather pants on the first night with a wooden sword you know which is to be honest an exercise in uh, futility but what I found with this from playing the first magic farm is your priorities change entirely so you're more or less concentrating on getting food getting shelter killing that squid come here squiddle it die did I get it? I better do you'd better give me an ink sack because there's one thing I want to make before we finish he did. Oh, and some raw calamari. Lovely. Right, food chest. Let's just go and offload this lot. Oh, gonna need a second food chest, I think. Because this one is... Well, that's not food. I don't think I've got any of those in there. I've got very little room for winter squash. Hmm tasty yeah I need definitely more room in my uh, food chest there anyway I'll address that elsewhere so I've got an ink sack I need a feather courtesy of those chickens that I brutally murdered I need a pressure plate no 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 oh that's a new and just oak wood wall intriguing let's just get those out I need a pressure plate I'm going to need some more paper but for the time being that will do and if you recall or you've watched my previous magic farm series I had a to do wall um, which is fairly common on quite a lot of you uh, let's plays you do this is new in Bibliocraft, it's the to-do list, or the clipboard. So basically we can call this to-do, and we can put in the various things. So first, Atlantis Dome, and as we get those finished, we can tick them as being completed. So this is just going to be my handy list of things that I want to do, keep on top of, um, suggestions, whatever it may be. Anyway, I think we're probably coming to about 25, 30 minutes of me rambling and talking crap. Um, so all that remains to be said is this episode will be out on Monday, which is normally the week day that we would do the uh, Minecraft series. Um, but with the closing of the Magic Farm 1 series. I've done pretty much everything I wanted to do in that. Um, and Terra Firmacraft being very difficult and I just don't have the level of time to dedicate to working out all the intricacies. I mean, seriously guys, if you think Magic Farm 2 is hard, Terra Firmacraft just laughs at it and says, yeah, I've got a prayer. You know, it takes literally four in-game months for a pregnant animal to give birth to a baby and then a further three before it's an adult and you can get anything from it that kind of ridiculous um, and it, it's going to take a lot of time on my part so I'm, I'm putting that into abeyance for the time being um, so my schedule 
as of this video will be Monday, Wednesday, Friday Magic Farm 2, Tuesday, Thursday will be my Minecraft series and the weekends will be whatever I throw in and anything else that I want to throw in at the same time. Um, but apart from that, anyway, that's me rambling. So until Wednesday, see you next time and thanks for watching.